My family, I greet you. Welcome to another one here, Truth and Love the Church, with your brother Joseph. So Prophet Angel is, you know, globally recognized, you know, as a prophet of God who gives accurate prophecies concerning, you know, international events and the like. And all his prophecies that he has been releasing have been coming to pass. And if you actually look at the Donald Trump prophecies he has been giving, you know, they have been coming to pass one after the other. And after actually letting people watch the prophecy confirmation of the Donald Trump assassination attempt, you see assassinations, attempted assassinations, even assassinations. The way you say assassination attempt. What they used to say of Africa, they are about to see it in the Western world. Wow. <laughs> ah, if it's America, you've already seen election rigging. Pray for Donald Trump. Pray for him. Pray for him. Mm. Because there are plans and ditches planned for him to fall in. But the Lord said, no, no, I'll protect him. Amen. But how does he protect him? He protects him by our prayers. You see assassinations. Attempted assassinations. Even assassinations. The way you say assassination attempt. What they used to say of Africa, they are about to see it in the Western world. Wow. Ah, if it's America, you've already seen election rigging. And welcome to Hannity, and this is a Fox News alert. Today, the former president of the United States, Donald J. Trump, was the target of an apparent assassination attempt. One innocent attendee is now dead. President Trump, we are told, is alive and well and now in a safe location. The shooter, meanwhile, has been killed by U.S. Secret Service. A suspected shooter fired multiple shots towards the stage from an elevated position outside of the rally venue. U.S. Secret Service person personnel neutralized the shooter who is now deceased. U.S. Secret Service quickly responded with protective measures and former President Trump is safe. One spectator was killed. Two spectators were critically injured. This incident is currently under investigation. He then had this to comment, you know, concerning the things which are actually happening in the United States of America. And I just want you to listen to it. Amen. Amen and amen. As you understand, our, when we show videos of things that have come to pass, we're not trying to show the world that we are experts. No, we're not. We're never experts on anything. The Lord is the expert. And He knows what will happen before it even happens. Okay? And remember, you can never convince anyone. If you say something, they say you did not show us before you produced it. Then this one, we left the videos there. They are still angry. Then you know it's not because of anything. It's just because it's not them. They have a problem. 2022, we said it. And we said it again this year. Still, you have a problem. Where? Why did you not show us? It's there on YouTube. Just go there and search for yourself. It's always been there. And some people want us to send them emails. We have said another prophecy, sir. Please check. They are there. But we can't be. We say so many prophecies. So many. So many leaders' meetings, we are saying prophecies. We are saying prophecies, no more service. We are saying prophecies. I think they, 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 they want to be happy when we fail a prophecy, which will not happen. Because as long as we are getting it correctly, they are not happy. When we get it wrong, we will not. If we get it wrong, which will not happen, there will still be not, that, that's when they will be so excited. So excited. Do you know how my kids bother me on prophecy? My own kids. They'll be calling and say, okay, who is winning the game today, dad? No, you see? So, so don't think you're the only one who bother me. My own children. 
And my own children are very funny. One will send me a text there, that's, that's, I know the other one is also sending a text. So you just tell me, I will tell my brothers, I will shock them. <laughs> Do you understand this? So, there is a purpose in everything we do. A real purpose in everything we do. But please pray for Donald Trump. It looks like when we say pray for them and you think, oh my God, I come from Glenview here. Why would I be praying for Donald Trump? <laughs> you don't know who you are. You have no idea. The Bible says we are the fullness of him that filleth all in all. In other words, God is not enough if we are not included. We are the fullness of him that fills all in all. If you are removed, you are the fourth member of the Trinity. I, I know you didn't get it. I know Trinity means three. I know this. You are the fourth member of the triune God. You are needed for the triune God. Remember? Diversity. Communication. Unity in the community of the Godhead. You are part of the community of the Godhead. You are important to him. Mm. So, why, why did they kill the person who tried to kill Trump? Is it to kill or to destroy evidence? This is a question. I did not say this is what God is saying. And I didn't say he is not saying it. I, I'm, just, I'm just analyzing things as I stand here. Why not shoot a leg? Why not a hand? And then you sit him there and say, who sent you? And why does it take a real president hours and hours to even say it? Yet a former president is saying it. Is it could it be that the former president is the one ruling the country? No, it's just these are questions I ask as a student of history. And mind you, this is the prophet asking. The ambassador is not here. Could it be you know this person will talk. Someone said my questions are prophetic. <laughs> Why would a former president be the one to comment on it? And the president has not released any information. Why being slow? We understand you are slow. But why are you not just a little bit of speed there? Comment. Now we can't see who did what because the person is gone. And they even had to produce the photo of the guy dead on the ground. The face dead on the ground. So you see we killed him. No more questions following. This world as you see it, is people that control it. You'll be a stupid person if you think there is no control. This world we are in, is people who are controlling. So here we as he has let them hear. So tell us what you think about this in the comments below, my dear family. If you have any video suggestions, do send them using my Telegram link. That's the only means of communication I use when it comes to, you know, the YouTube content that we share with you. Thank you for watching. God bless you.